Hey everybody, it's me. I don't even know if you can see me. I think that you can, um, because whenever I did my preview, I could see right here. But, uh, yeah, right here. What, where am I? Oh, 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 oh. I don't even know. I can't even see my... Oh, there I am. Okay, well, maybe I, maybe I move it this way just a touch. Yeah, and then you get to see some of my crap. Okay, um, anyway. Oh, if you can't see me really good, that's okay. I wanted to show you some things I've been working on. Uh, remember the napkins that I bought? I don't know if you do or not. Yeah, and you can see me. There's, like, some of my cleaning supplies. And here's some stuff. This is, like, some Halloween stuff. And this is where I put my extra plastic bags. And this right here is where Maggie's cage used to sit. And I just found myself, I used to do stuff here on the dryer, and then I just found myself gravitating over here. And it's almost like, because I used to do stuff here, and she would sit here, and she would watch me. And uh, now just kind of, and I just gravitated over here. Yes, it does give me extra room. But I also feel closer to Maggie right here, because she was here. Anyway, the napkins, the Punch Studio um, sunflowers. These, I don't know, these are just um, Brand X, the ones with the butterflies. And then I have the smaller ones with the butterflies. And then I bought these at Walmart. But these at Walmart, um, these are, they're camouflage. And I thought, well, you know, the area that I live in. Um, oh, I thought I heard my camera beep. Sorry, the area that I live in is rural, you know, with hunters, so I thought I'd do something for them. But this is the only piece that I could use with the whole napkin, so I cut off some of them and then put the rest of them in our napkin holder so they can use those out there. And what I did was, what I do is, this was, this was the sunflower one that actually, it, it like ghosted, I don't know if you can see that, it like ghosted the, the sunflowers on that. But it was three plies, so I had to take two of the plies off, and what I'll do is I'll line my spray box with that. And then this was off of the, the brand X. These. Okay. I'm trying to hurry before my batteries. Are the first thing I did, I did one of these bottles. And it turned out so pretty. I don't know how if I'm getting them in there. Um, you can actually, it's actually translucent. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, you can see through it. It started out as being one of these bottles right here. And this is actually... Fireball Cinnamon Whiskey. And I, the lady that gave me the bottles gave me a bunch of these. And remember, I think I said the flat surface was going to uh, be interesting and, and help me do something different, take my bottles to someplace else. And it did. And that was, that was um, this napkin right here. And what I did was I, I, I did it with, this is all you'd need. You need a bottle. You need a napkin. You need, I used Matte Mod Podge, and I used a foam brush, a little spongy brush. But that's all you need to make this project. Um, what I did was I used the Mod Podge, I, you know, spread it on the bottle, just straight on the glass. Didn't do anything to the glass, just put it right on the glass. And um, started applying the napkin up here. There's, it's two pieces, and it, it really seemed together really well, except right here. I got the seam a little thick right here. Um, but here it did really well and then I took the other half of the napkin which would have been just this part right here and kind of went under just to barely under the edge and that fits right there and I used the top part you know the other side of it to do up here and I kind of just went into the bottom of the or into the mouth of the bottle a little bit and you can see I get close up there I'm not afraid to get close up and show you how I did that and what I do is I like this foam brush because um, you can like take the side of it and tap into those grooves you know on these bottles and like if you're doing you know you're gluing and you know and you go you can go like this but then you have you know loose tissue and sometimes you need to go in there and that's the point that's where the point comes in really handy and that's why I use the foam but you got to be careful because this foam will tear, will tear it because once the, you, you take the backs off of those napkins, it's just like tissue paper. So I did that one and I was so tickled about that one that I went ahead and did the one with the sunflowers on it. And I did the very same thing. 
very same way and I think it turned out really really good like I said when you hold it up it's like translucent I don't know you can't see my light um but it just it was just really really pretty and I said I gotta do something else I love doing this I did those two yesterday and then I said well I had this I don't know I think I showed you this clear jar and I said I was just going to use it for storage like heck no I'm going to put a napkin on it and what I did I used this one and it was just about the right size I only had to use about you know about that much more of off the other side of it let's see this is this is what I had left over off of that napkin after I did the jar and I did it the very same way and this one went together super fast because um, the neck wasn't so skinny and I didn't have to do as much folding and very same technique what I did was though on all of these was I um, after I glued it down I let it dry really well and I put another coat of matte Mod Podge over it. it's not the gloss uh, could use gloss but think about Mod Podge is it gets it will get sticky in the humidity but only I think only when it's fresh because I've done stuff with this before this isn't even I just did these this isn't even quite dry pushing on it see this is uh, this is Mod Podge not quite dry under the surface right there is that white um, but that I, I, mean, I think it turned out really super cool and my husband says I told him I said this is that uh, red roasted red pepper jar it's a it's a Mazetta. Mazetta, yeah, because it says it was really, really um, making the stereotypical remark about the way Italians speak English. It says, don't forget a Mazetta. Uh, but it just went right over the words. I don't even know where the words are on here, actually. I think they're right in there somewhere. But the wrinkles, when you put it, this on, it wrinkles it up and it just. He said, what are you going to do with it? I said, well, I don't know. I said, but if, you know, an artist could put their paint brushes in here, their dry brushes. This one's a little short. Or you could use it for a pencil holder. And I said, I might keep this one. Like I said, it's not quite dry yet, but uh, it's dry to the touch with some of the pockets in there. And then, uh, okay, folks, I had an empty beer bottle. Bud Light beer bottle. I like, I like Bud Light. I like um, Michelob Ultra. <laughs> And I saved some of the bottles, and I love it in a bottle. And this is the camouflage napkin. It was a a little bit, um, even after I took the back off of it, it was a little bit stiffer. Uh, and it was a little bit harder to work with. And it didn't seam near as well. I know it's camouflage, but you can see right there where it um, just didn't quite seam. And I actually tore a little place on this, but this... It's truly camouflage and it's very forgiving and I can't even find where I tore the place and had to patch it. But uh, I said, hey, Bud Light beer bottle camouflage. I may actually sell that. <laughs> but that was it. That's what I wanted to show you what I've been up to. And I forgot to bring in my other thing that I wanted to show you. And But I just wanted to remind you that all you need is a bottle, a napkin, Mod Podge, and a brush, and a turns into this. But, I mean, it was really, really easy. Um, if anybody wants me to do it on camera, I will. But it would just be me standing here gluing and going like this and, and, and having my fingers stuck and stuff like that. Um, my best friend, she got me a bunch of these little milk bottles like this. Um, you know, I discovered accidentally how crackle paint, is, uh, crackle medium is made. It's glue. I discovered that uh, by accident on a project I was working on. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cover it with a little bit of uh, glue. I'm just going to brush some glue on it, just plain old white glue. Let that dry and then I'm going to cover it with like a an off-white, like an antique uh, paint and it'll crackle because it, you know, it will. I know it will. If it doesn't, I promise I will be honest with you and let you know. But uh, there were quite a few of these bottles. I said, gosh, I hated to... They're little half-pint bottles. Uh, can't even see what the... I don't know, seal, seal or something. Seal, seal, seal something. I don't know. It's a half-pint bottle, so I got those. Okay, there was other little things I wanted to show you. Hang on. <laughs> I'll be right back. Just hang on. I made some things out of the giant... Um, binder clips. I had them already um, 
package. Well, I just put them in baggies to keep the dust and dirt off of them. I wanted to share that with you too. Uh, but I thought they turned out really cute. Let me get one out here. There. I'd never done one before, and uh, never done one. So I did uh, that one, and there's the back of that one. And this paper, I uh, forget who sent this to me. I want to say Judy at JW Scraps. Yeah, um, she sent me that paper. And that was that one. Let me show you a different one. Nope, that's not a different one. Hang on. I did a blue one here. I did two of them kind of basically out of that one paper. And I forget who sent me this paper, but I thought that was really cute. That was a cute one. Right there. And uh, put that on the back. And see, I, I found these in uh, a, a pack of paper. And I thought, well, you know, because they're for like picture holders. And um, the blue one. I did two of this of that pink paper. See how I just put them in baggies to keep them from getting dirty. And they're, they're not alike. They're little, there's the slight differences. And then I did this one. Uh, right here. That one. And I thought that kind of turned out cool. Like that. Yeah. But and I actually have these little business cards. And um, I, I wanted to name my booth at the street fair or something, so I called myself Trinkets and Treasures. And all it has on it is my name, Pamela Williams, and it said, Give yourself a title. I got these up, uh, Vistaprint. And I said, Okay, Creative Dabbler. I did that. And uh, then my email address. And I said, Well, I'll put that there so people can see that it's, you know, they can hold a business card on their desk. Okay, I think that was it. I think I'm done. And, uh, I thought I hadn't done a face video in a while, and I, I didn't check my hair before I got on here, so I don't know what I look like. Um, but just wanted to show you what I was doing, and I, now I can't stop doing the 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 napkins on bottles. You know, I mean, why would I want to stop? It's so cool. But I thought I'd make another one of these and another one of the sunflower one because I think they're they're so cute that people will probably pick those up. And if they don't, oh well. I'll give them away as gifts. Alright everybody, thank you for watching and uh, thanks everybody for uh, commenting on my videos. And um, I appreciate the feedback and I'll try to get on here. Again, I'm having back problems so bad. I hurt my back Thursday. I think it was Thursday. It's like I got a pinched nerve in my hip. And I went to work Friday and I get off at 2 and I, I told... My husband said, I'll go to the chiropractor. My chiropractor keeps changing his hours. He's got the weirdest hours. He's, on Monday, he's open from 8 to 12, and then they close two hours for lunch and open from 2 to 6. Closed on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, they're open 8.30 to 2, and then 2 to 6. And Friday, they're, o they're open from 8 to 12. <sighs> you know, I wish I had that kind of degree. I could dictate my hours like that. Anyway, so I'm going to try to go tomorrow morning. If they open at 8, because I don't have to be to work till 9. Alright, well, that was it. And thanks everybody for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, this, I set it in front of a fan, a little fan, let these dry really. Helps it dry quick. Okay, that's it. Bye.